So we're in Google Earth, and as you can see in Google Earth, the controls are in the upper right corner. You have this ring that lets you turn 360 degrees, and inside the ring you have directional controls that let you pan up or down, or you can use the middle knob to pan in different directions. We're going to go to the Golden Gate Bridge here, and we're going to use the zoom dial here to zoom all the way in. And if you notice here that the traffic on this Golden Gate Bridge is actually below in the ocean and not on the actual bridge itself. So you can also grab and move the screen around. And that's what we'll do here. And then to move the tilt, you use this control. And this will tilt us down to street level. All these controls also have keyboard equivalents. But as you can see, using these controls, it's kind of choppy. It's not very fluid. You have to stop and move the control around. Now we're going to use the Space Navigator to get through Google Earth. And you can turn the Space Navigator around. You can push it down to zoom in. And then you can move it to the left or right to pan around. You can turn it to turn 360 degrees. Again, I'm pushing in the zoom. And then I'm just moving it over to pan over. And then to change the tilt, you tilt it. I'm using it after a couple of days. Still takes some getting used to, but I'm getting the hang of it. And see now that I've zoomed past the bridge, and there's the traffic in the ocean. Don't know why the traffic is in the ocean in Google Earth, but it is. So then you pull up, zoom up. And then with a little bit of practice, you can do different motions at the same time. So I could zoom and pan and tilt at the same time once I learned the little nuances of the Space Navigator. So you can see that the Space Navigator offers a fluid control for 3D applications such as Google Earth and 3D modeling applications.